Hi guys, firstly I want to thank all of you for putting in the effort in designing the character. Now I was really impressed and amazed by a few groups. You know, my jaw literally dropped. After reviewing all the projects, I just want to you know, quickly address a few common issues I've noticed. You know, first, uh, I see that some of you did not choose a brand first. Because uh, it is like this, whatever you're creating is going to be for nobody if you don't have a brand. I don't know what brand you're designing for, I won't know if your design is even relevant to the brand. So you gotta have a brand first. That's why that's the number one thing I mentioned in previous video. So second, although I did not mention this in the previous video, uh, I think you should have a name for your character because uh, there, are, there are many great designs, you see. I just don't know how to or what to call it. You know, I don't want to always say, you know, nah, that one or this one, nah, that, that, that character. I want to name it, you know, I want to be able to call it its name so give it a name uh, it's good to have a name uh, next is uh, number third I see that uh, most of you design a character that looks exactly like the what the brand is selling for example if the brand sells books then the character design looks exactly like a book uh, although this is not wrong I just feel that you guys can go even wilder with ideas you know kind of like being rebellious with your usual thoughts you know you have to think why must a book looks like a book why can't the character looks like a pencil instead so again i want to say there's nothing wrong with the character looking like what the brand is selling it's just that you know i feel that you guys can go really crazy on this one challenge yourself because i know you guys can really pull it off and next is that i also see some of the design uh, look very similar to the logo uh, you know like like uh, using the logo as base is basically the same as using the product appearance as base so again you, you must think why must the brand's character looks like the brand logo okay I wouldn't say this is wrong but there's a reason why this project is called character design and not logo design okay next I see that uh, some of you presented the character story through an act. Okay, that's very creative of you, but uh, besides creativity, more important thing here is that you have to consider whether or not the story is actually relevant to the brand's message. I'll give you an example. Like Nike's brand, we always hear people say, just do it. Okay, that's, that's the message. Then when you come up with a, a story for the mascot or for the character that you're designing, representing Nike, it has to match with that message, okay? Uh, it's like it, the character you're designing, it has to have personality like uh, resilience, never give up, uh, or the character must have the look that, you know, that look can, that can handle all kinds of challenges. You know, whatever uh, difficulties you throw at that character is able to handle it because it always has the spirit of just do it, okay? Now, you have to understand that the reason why I want you to think of a story for that character because the story is going to be used to justify uh, why the character looked the way it is. You know, why, why the character must have hands. Maybe because the character needs to grab a hold of something, needs to hold something. Why the character needs two legs. Maybe the character needs to run, needs to walk, right? That's why uh, you have to come up with a story to, to explain to me why your character design look the way it is. So that's how the story is being used in this case. So that's the few things you need to be aware of. Other than that, I really look forward to seeing more designs from you guys. I'll see you soon.